We've got some great news for San Diego State Aztecs fans. Lamont Butler, he is returning for his senior season at San Diego State next year, next basketball season. That was a question in this offseason for the Aztecs. Lamont, he had the opportunity to declare for the draft, but it didn't look like he was going to get picked. He did not get invited to the NBA draft combine. It was him and Ladie. I believe he had been working out in Las Vegas in this offseason, but he decides to come back. For me, I was expecting Lamont to come back, but until you hear the news, you're not really relieved. Like, okay, he's coming back. But now that we know the news, I am relieved, and it's a good day. It's a good day because Lamont, it would be very hard to replace him. It's later and later in the transfer portal season, if you will, and just the guy that he is, right? He's a guy that plays defense. He's just a great character guy. I mean, he was offered millions of dollars or just a, up, upwards of a million, hundreds of thousands of dollars in NIL deals from other schools if he were to transfer to another school. And he didn't take it. He said, no, it's either I'm declaring for the draft or I'm going to be an Aztec. I'm going to remain an Aztec. And I didn't think he had he was going to declare for the draft. He he wasn't going to get drafted. So I was like, all right, we're going to get Lamont back. But again, until you actually hear the news from him, you're, you're, you're not totally relieved yet. But now we can all exhale. And now the, the attention turns to Jane Ledee. Before we get to Ledee and the rest of the roster right now, with Lamont, I mean, this is just a perfect guy, I think, to represent the university. I mean, we saw – what happened last season with the shot and just how he went about it afterwards, right? All of the attention he got, it just seems like he, his family, how he was raised, just perfect. Uh, just the the quotes in the Union Tribune with Mark Ziegler of Lamont's dad talking about how, you know, not all money is good money, something like that, about Lamont potentially transferring elsewhere, like he was going to stay an Aztec, uh, someone that really loves this community, San Diego. Uh, it's great. It's great to see Lamont come back uh, for that senior season. He's going to get a ton of love from the San Diego State fans, uh, and he deserves it. He deserves it. I mean, it's not just the final four shot that, that got him into the national championship game. It's the New Mexico game winner from in the regular season at the pit, like those moments too. You know, going from obviously making the, that late game decision against Arkansas, right? Lost the game there in Maui. Then later in the year to having the game winner against New Mexico, hitting the big final four shot, right? What a comeback story, right? Um, so super pumped up to see Lamont coming back. And now if we look to the rest of the roster, what is there to be done? So Jane Ledee, he's the question. Is he going to declare for the draft? Uh, I believe it's... The end of this month is the deadline to either declare or not. And Ladie, he I don't think he's going to get drafted either. He wasn't invited into the draft combine. So I would expect him to come back. It seemed like, just looking at social media, it seemed like there's a, there was a greater chance of Ladie coming back than Lamont. Like, anyway. So now that Lamont's back, you assume that, again, I'm not going to exhale until Ladie is back. But you just assume that, okay, Ladie, he's back too. So that really makes the roster almost complete now. I think the Aztecs will be looking for one more big man probably because they're losing a rope. They're losing Mensa and Keyshot because he transferred to Arizona. So they're losing three there. And they have Elijah Saunders that can come in. If they have Ladie, that's great. They have Jay Powell who they brought in probably one more that you want, right, to fill whatever spot you want to call it, the rope spot or the Mensa spot, whatever. So now what the roster looks like here. So Tremel, before I was doing this, I wasn't sure if he was coming back, but he has that COVID year because I saw I knew he was a senior, but he has that COVID year. So he can come back for this next season. I believe he is. Lamont obviously coming back. Reese Dixon Waters, they acquired from USC, got the transfer there. So 
He fills probably Matt Bradley. I would assume Dixon Water starts. He was the sixth man of the year with USC, so I would think he'd start with the Aztecs. Ladie, let's say, comes back. He would start, I assume. And then would it be Elijah Saunders or would it be Jay Powell starting? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Maybe that maybe that'll be a position battle. We'll see what happens with that. Um, and then they still have guys like Micah Parrish coming off of the bench. Uh, yeah, they they lost Adam Seiko, obviously, lost Bradley. Like there there were guys that they lost, obviously, but there's still a good amount of returning guys on this team. And then there's it seems like I mean I'm not going to act like I know a ton about Reese Dixon Waters or a ton about Jay Powell, but it seems like they're getting good transfers in that had a lot of offers from other schools and the Aztecs were able to beat those schools out. They didn't land all the transfers that they wanted. You know, pretty much no school does unless you're the the biggest schools. Uh, But I think the Aztecs have gotten a few guys or will be getting a few guys because there's probably going to be one more that they get, right? They'll be getting guys that they, they wanted and think that, are going to be a part, like they could be a good part of this team, right? The Aztecs, we know from what Brian Dutcher and David Alvarez, what they've said in the past, they don't just go recruit anyone. Oh, you're great at scoring and that's all you do. They're not going to be like, oh, welcome on in. It's, you got to play defense. You got to be a team player, maybe sacrifice your, your own stats for the team's good. That's the player that they want to go recruit and Lamont. I mean, he is that player. He's, you know, one of the leaders of this team. He is that type of player. Um, and the players that were on this team, those type of players, they're willing to give up a, a good shot for a great shot, right? Like that saying, I know you probably heard that saying before, but that's what it is. And guys that will get down, down and dirty, you know, get on the court, uh, diving for loose balls, right? That's who the Aztecs want and so we'll see who they end up getting but i'm excited lamont is back you know that exhale that as six fans can collectively let out now that lamont is official that he is coming back and now we'll just wait on jane ladie but it's going to be another great season and it's going to be cool to see lamont get a ton of love in what we now know will be his last season with the aztecs he gets to enjoy it and aztecs fans get to enjoy it as well let me know your thoughts on this announcement in the comments.